I started with Jimmy Vaughn when I was 18, and he hired me to be in the in the Fabulous Thunderbirds, and I, I got my crash course in, in playing rhythm guitar with, with Jimmy Vaughn. It seemed like Texas blues was, was quite a bit different than, um, than Delta blues, or uh, Chicago blues, or Memphis blues, or, um, it just, it, it had a different thing to it. It started with Blind Lemon, and, uh, and went to Lightning Hopkins, and Mance Lipscomb, and Little Son Jackson, and, uh, and then later into the electric guitar players like Freddie King and, and, uh, and Albert Collins and Johnny Guitar Watson. T-Bone was obviously the innovator of all of them for electric guitar, him and Charlie Christian. Stevie Ray Vaughan is great to me because it was sort of like this amalgam of all the great blues guitar players coming out in a really contemporary way. Which I, which I think is responsible for my really getting into blues. Because I, I don't think that um, I could have been 14, 15 years old and listening to Freddie King and really understanding what it was. I think it took Stevie to sort of just reprocess it or reframe it in a way that made sense to me sonically. Right. Well, I mean, you know, I got exposed through my dad. I got exposed to all these great situations, and, and it was all music that I really responded to and loved, and it was just, just in my blood innately because I just listened to Stevie and Jimmy and all that. But, you know, like, even when I got a little older and I started sitting in with my dad, and for a 16-year-old, that's, like, that's a big deal. Robert or Elmore or Dwayne or Hendrix or Eric or any of these guys that, that, that changed the game, you can you can find where all of it came from. It's just they were the they were the one that had the taste, the the fearlessness, um, right place, right time. There was just so many factors that made them separate from everybody else, and they are. They they absolutely raised the bar, you know. And you can you can listen to Hendrix, and you can hear Dylan, you can hear the Birds, you can hear the Beatles, you can hear Albert King, you can hear uh, Book of White, you can hear all this stuff, but no one did it quite like that. For me, playing the slide pedal steel guitar, I wanted to, probably by the time I first started playing it, you know, I've watched all the guys playing at church, and at first I wanted to play like them. Then I started to get a little better, and I guess, and, I, and then I said, you know what, I, I want to play like, when I heard Stevie Ray Vaughan say, I want to play like that on this instrument. I want people to go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? I think what made Stevie great was his passion. I don't think there, I've ever met anyone with, the amount of passion that he had. Um, and uh, he was just, he was like a steam engine. What's funny is the, the early days of us playing gigs in, in New York City, we were playing at the Mercury Lounge, and I was already playing Voodoo Child already, right? I was trying to play like Stevie Ray Vaughan. And I'd get up and go, you know, I'm going to play this old Stevie Ray Vaughan song called Voodoo Child, ladies and gentlemen. And some guy said, hey, do you know, like, you ever heard Jimi Hendrix's version of Voodoo Child's like, no, 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 I don't need to listen to it. He's like, well, it's the original version. I'm like, no, 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 it's Stevie Ray. He's like, no, 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 man, this is Hendrix's tune. I think, uh, you know, one powerful thing about Jimi Hendrix is uh, he made every guitar player that watched him want to quit. And that's including all the greats, so... <laughs> That's right. That's right, Buddy Holly. Thanks very much, Buddy Holly. The ghost of Christmas past. I have a lot, a lot to be sorry for. Just give me a break, will you? It's hot and I got a wig on, okay? Are you having a good time so far? That's right. Just for you today, one of Buddy, Buddy Holly's guitar picks coming out. Buddy Holly's guitar pick, right there. Well, if you'd have told me that three guys from Texas who look like Hasidic bankers would rock this place to its very foundation, I'd say to you, that'll be the day. If you said to me that these three guys are going to rip this place apart and stand on its head, I'd say, Peggy Sue, that sound not going to fade away. Let's bring out three guys who never, ever, ever bought into the whole goatee crap, ever. Frankie, Dusty, and Billy, ZZ. 